Hey, Phone Science users. So one of our uh, subscribers had asked recently how you could embed Google reviews onto your, your phone size page. So unfortunately, Google doesn't provide a, a direct and easy way for you to be able to embed those over. You need a developer to be able to, to access their API for this. But what you can do is, I mean, there's some third-party tools out there, such as Embed Social, for using the widget that they had created that hooks into Google's API. Uh, you can use a widget that they've created to add that on to uh, your phone sites page, uh, you, you know, any website that you have created out there um, very quickly and easily. The problem is you're going to pay Embed Social something like 30 or 50 bucks uh, a month. If you don't really have the 30 or 50 bucks to drop on reviews yet, uh, maybe one of these days you'll want to to actually make this a little, a little bit more professional and use a, a tool like this. But if you don't have that money up front to outlay to using the, uh, something like this just for showing reviews, you can go the cheap route and copy your reviews and put it into a Google slideshow presentation and then embed that into your phone site. So let's go ahead and do that now. So um, I just went out and I found a uh, random asphalt paving crew out in Boston. Let's just pretend that that's my business, okay? So here we go. So this is, they have set up their Google My Business. Here's their reviews that they've got. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click in here to view all Google reviews. So let's click in there. I'm just going to take screenshots of these and then take those uh, images and dump them into a presentation. So let's do that. So I'll just grab Anthony's here real quick and I'll grab Mike's and I can do all this. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do two of them here for the sake of this video. So let's go into um, Google presentations. Um, if you never used this before, it's docs. So D O C S dot Google dot com forward slash presentation, or you can just do a Google search. You can go out to Google and let's see Google presentation. Okay. And then you could go from there, go into Google slides. That's the actual name of the product. Go into Google slides and create your presentation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and you can ignore on this first slide here where it says like click to add title and click to add subtitle. That's just on page directions guiding you where to put stuff. It's not actually going to be on here. What I'm going to do now is up here at the very top, you got some options, right? One of these options is there's like a little gray box with two little mountains in it. It's insert image. And if you can't see that on my video here, if you go up the top where it says insert at the top, go to insert and image and then upload from computer. So let's go ahead and insert this in here. So now you just need to navigate in this little window that pops up. You need to navigate on your computer to where your screenshots will just save. So my Mac saves them on my desktop. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna grab this top screenshot here. So let's click open. And uh, now I can you know resize this to make it look nice. I'm not going to really play around with that too much. I could put one or two of these on here if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to put it right there. That's good enough. You could change like the background color of it and all that kind of good stuff. I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in another uh, slide. So if I want to insert at the top, um, let's see, where do I insert slide? I guess there we go. New slide all the way at the bottom. So if I click that, that would insert another slide down here. I've got another option to insert new slides if I wanted to. I could go up here to off to the left. It shows you all the slides. You could right click on this and then you should be able to click on new slide. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and insert into the next slide uh, another image. So I'm gonna go ahead, again, I could go to the insert image icon at the top where I could go to insert at the top, go to image, upload from computer, and I'm going to grab that second review, drop that in here. And again, like this is not going to show up in my actual slides. I can go ahead and preview this now. Again, if I had like five different reviews, if I had you know, 50 reviews, I could grab all those and dump those into the presentation. I'm just going to do two here. Let's just preview this real quick. So if I go to view at the top and full screen and here view and present so that's what's going to look like so i just wanted to show you that it's not going to show that guide like this the words that was in the background said like click to enter in text right so it's just going to show those so i'm good with how that looks now 
I'm not going to be very picky about this. The next step for what I want to do is um, I could go ahead and link these reviews back to Google. That way, if anyone doubts, like if they think that I'm coming up with these reviews on my own, I can Google or I can uh, link back to Google where these are so they can see for sure that these reviews are actually put there by someone. Now, yeah, I mean, whoever left my reviews out on the business, like they could be fake reviews, but at least we can provide a link back to where it is out on Google, right? So if I click into the image here, if I right click, uh, then I should be able to have an option here to add in uh, a link in here. Format options. Adjustments. Let's see, where do I add that in here? Uh, I'm not seeing it. I know that, like, when you go to add in, um, let's see. Let's just click insert link here. So I can add it into this whole slide. So, like, if someone clicked into the slide, it's going to give me that link back. So... We want this to be on, uh, I'm not actually not going to use those options that show up down in here because we don't want to link to some other slide in the presentation. So no, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's grab, let's see here. I want to grab this link right here. So I'm going to right click into view all Google reviews, so right click and then copy link address. And then let's put that in there, okay? And then hit apply. And then I can do the same thing up here. Link, and then drop that link in there, and then hit apply. Okay, now, that's one way to do this. So if I go to present mode, and if I click into my image, you can see it's gonna take me here. Now here's a problem though. If I use that link that I first told you, where it shows you where we copied it from here, it's gonna take you back here to Google search and then it's gonna show you the Google My Business uh, results over here. The problem is, is that someone's checking me out. They can also go check out Bannon Paving over here too, right? That shows up in the uh, ads. So if I don't want them to see who else is providing paving services, what I can do instead is, if I click back through to view all Google reviews, I can now, uh, let's see here. If I click on where it says one review, and if I click on reviews over here, um, now I can just grab Anthony's review, and then it's going to show me a map view of where this business is located. But I can copy this, right? I can go. I can go to where it says share, and then click on copy link, and then go back to my presentation. We're going to update Anthony Price's review. Uh, let's go back into presentations. Uh, oops, my bad. That's Mike. So we want to update Anthony's link here. So let's go back in. We're going to go see where I clicked into the image. I'm going to click on edit link there and replace this link with what I just copied from over here. And let's go grab this other guy's review too. So it was Mike Howe. So click into one review because we just want to see his review and click on reviews over here. So this is Mike Howe's review for Boston Asphalt Paving Crew. Click on share, click on copy link, and then let's go back to this first slide and update the link from Mike Howe. So let's see here, edit link, drop that in there, hit apply. And if we go to present this again, if we click on Mike, this should now take me in a new tab. This is gonna show me Mike's review for Boston Asphalt Paving Crew. Okay. Now, the grand scheme of things, most people are probably not going to click through to check out these reviews. And um, I mean, if you do set it up where it's going to link like this, it's just going to open up in a new tab. But the next step is, I'm going to hit escape so I can escape this presentation. The next step is I need to embed my presentation of reviews. So this is Boston Paving Reviews. If I wanted to embed this into my phone type site, let's do that now. So I'm going to go up to File. I've got to publish this to the web first. 
And I can change the auto advance slides to be uh, like every second, every three seconds or whatever. Um, I want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on restart because after it goes through all the reviews, I want it to restart again. And then I want this to start the slideshow as the player loads. That way, whoever lands on the page doesn't have to actually start the presentation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and publish this first. Select yes, I wanna go ahead and publish this. And then the next thing is I wanna to go to embed. Uh, looks like actually I need to set this up under embed instead of link. So ignore what I just told you right there. Under embed, click on start and restart. And let's change this to like every two seconds. Now click into there and copy everything into this box right here. If you need to expand that, you can. But all you have to do is really just press command C on a Mac or control C on a, on a PC. Okay, so that's already published. I just need to copy that and then I can close that. Let's go into phone sites. Let's add this into a text block. So I'm going to add in a new text block. And I suggest putting your reviews at the very bottom of your page. And you can even put it on a thank you page too if you want. That way you can avoid someone getting overwhelmed with your page. But let's go ahead. We'll keep it here. Let's pretend this is on my, my opt-in page, my landing page. Now let's go ahead and view this in a new tab. And so there we go. So there's our slideshow presentation. This would look nice if I had like a white background. If I wanted a black background, then back in presentations, I could have changed that to have a, a black background. It's just going to look kind of funky with, it's going to be like black here. And then this section will be white because of the screenshot that I took. But again, back in presentations, you can play around with like where it shows up. You can uh, adjust, you know, drag it up and down on the page. You can see as I'm dragging it around, there's like these red lines that show up that kind of guide me to, to center this and so forth. I definitely suggest trying to make it look pretty uniform, but don't get carried away with it. I could go in here and then you know change the background of these if I want to change the color. So let's do that real quick. Done. So I just right clicked and I went to change background, change the color, hit done. Let me go back over here, refresh this real quick. There you go. So yeah, the the uh, the controls will show up on the screen here, but no big deal. Now, if the user wanted to click through here, like I said before, this takes us to where this review is out on Google for this business, and someone feels a little comfy inside knowing that the reviews that are on this page are actual legit reviews that someone has for their business. All right, guys, I know that I went through that kind of quick, but if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.